Scenario 10, The Source of Light. Alright, welcome back to some cave crawling. And I am playing Invasion from the Unknown by Shadow M. And this is a campaign from the game Battle for Wesnoth. I'm fairly certain we have been to this intersection countless times before. How much deeper could the last home of our heroes be? I wouldn't know for sure, sir, but at this rate I think we may soon reach the very bottom of the earth and find that there's nothing below but a blazing hell. Silence! It is an enormous power. It fills the whole place. Yes, indeed, I recognize this presence. We must be finally there. You magic-skilled people can perceive things which are beyond me. Indeed, lad. Magic skill lets you ken things whose existence is normally ignored by common folk. Every rock in these caves, even the air. Everything is imbued with an ancient magic not known to any living dwarf in this age. Tis a dangerous place to senselessly wander without nature's permission. Fair enough. I hope we find them soon before we run out of food and torches. And before the Chaos Army reaches Hearthgar, I would add. While the might of the dwarves and their many inventions may normally provide an insurmountable obstacle to invaders from the surface, I have this disquieting feeling that the enemy that approaches is much unlike the other commanders we've faced thus far. My lady, sirs, less chatter and more exploring before the walls cave in on us. Okay. Objective, explore the caves. Heroes that I have to keep alive, Gallus, and Linde, Malkashar, and Althurin. And I've got 59 turns. And for some reason, it's recalled this marksman. Uh-huh. Who's <laughs> not going to be greatly useful down here, I don't think, but hey. Auto-recall. Here she is. Um, she can't be my highest level elven unit left, can she? Surely not. Oh well, we go and explore. Oh, rumbling sound. Is that just going to randomly keep playing in the background? I think it probably is. Okay, we've got someone nice and fast here, Igor the Goblin Knight, and we've got a fungoid coming to attack us. Now, here we are in a situation where we are once again underground, we are once again, we've got caves to explore around the sides, and therefore it seems like the best bet is, as usual, the ghost line of units. So let's see who we've got to recall. We've got Spectres, we've got the Death Knights, three Spectres even, we've got some Shadows, one of whom is extremely highly experienced. We've got a Dark Sorcerer, who's quite close to a level. We've got Quothad the Trapper. I'll have Quothad the Trapper, because a slow ability is always good. And then I'm going to have all of the level 2... ghost line units that I can get my hands on. I probably don't have as many of them as I'd like. I've got some bone shooters and some revenants, but it doesn't seem like they're going to be all that useful in this situation. I'd rather go with wraiths and skeletons and so forth. Now I suspect that recruiting elves is going to be, yeah, it's incredibly expensive now. That figures.
And I want to get some bats and some ghosts for scouting purposes. So let's go for a normal bat, and then I'll see what happens next turn. Nothing yet. Okay. You go up here. All right, I can I can get myself a free village. Useful. Otherwise, nothing much up here. The heirs. How could they get past the commander? This can only mean she is. Damn it all. You too will perish at our hands if you insist on hindering us, demon. So be it. I would rather die than surrender to you, Erdian scum. Okay, first mission is to defeat the Blue Leader. And it looks like... Okay, we've got some interesting units down here. With Some of them are experienced. So she's got experience. And... Uh... This Goliath seems to have experience as well. Gotta be careful about allowing those units to get kills. We've also got Zephyrs down here, and that means that there are fire attacks. So gotta be a little bit careful. And then finally, we've got one Chaos Magus who can do arcane damage. That's quite nasty. On the whole, it seems like Spectres, Wraiths, Shadows, still the best bet. These guys are quite a long way from being able to attack me, so I feel relatively safe in going in with Igor against Fungoid. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh, almost got the kill. I'm also going to get myself a couple of skeleton riders. They're quite expensive, but they will be able to ride up and to deal out some melee damage where it's needed. Anyone else I want to recall? Another wraith? Yeah, and then maybe just a few more troops, I will be able to afford them. I mean, it could be that it's better to wait until I've cleared out these guys before recruiting any more. But I don't know how many they're going to recruit. What's up here to the left? That is the big question, isn't it? Lots of fungus dudes. These guys... Yeah, the Ray thought to be able to take them out, no problem. I'll send my quick troops up there. Everyone else can proceed down here and fight. Someone ought to someone ought to grab this 
maybe you. Oh, come on, someone, someone can, someone can fight on the Okay, well since these folks are moving forward and I've got a lot of powerful units, I don't think I'm going to waste my time recruiting any more right now. Instead, Galas is just going to come out and fight. Okay, good. Any movement done. <coughs> Okay, this side of the map was not very interesting. This side of the map, on the other hand, we have... There is a useful choke point here, and I need to put, push forward and, and capture it. And Linda is wounded, but if she, if, if these troops get taken out, she can hold it on her own. Maybe even, maybe it's even worth... Uh, I don't have all of the options in the world here. Good, alright, you're level 3. Mel Kesha. So, so tempting to actually just run you straight in. Have you fight the uh, flash cannon mechanical Goliath, but I'm not going to actually do that. I can hopefully get Igor to get the kill. Alright, good. And now we need to move someone expendable, like this ghost, to the front lines.
bat. This bat can be a sacrifice. Everyone else, power forward. You go and stab this leech. Good. Don't want threats from behind. Okay, two more expendable troops here. And this final bat can come up from the rear. Let's, let's see the damage. Still producing troops. This shadow got a bit more beaten up than I was hoping for, um, and I think that means it should fly away, land on this house. Try. I need to try and kill this zephyr because otherwise it can get there. As in fact, can this one here? So, but I can always, I can always try and fly people around to the flank there. Gallus, can you actually get in? Igor, you're not hugely useful in this situation, so you step back. And Lindsay, with your magical attack, you can do a better job. <laughs> Good, okay. Zephyr down, that's good to know. How likely am I to hit this demon? Quite likely, not super likely. Galas cannot get in there. I need to get rid of this Magus. And then there is the matter of a level 3 mechanical Goliath in the background. It's not hard to kill these units, but what is hard is to make sure that none of mine get killed in return. And I don't, I especially don't want Armando to get whammied. So I think Malkashar should just step back for a moment. You can get round, but if you do, you might be exposing yourself. Even as a Night Gaunt, I wouldn't recommend it. How much damage do I have to do to kill you? Alright, Gallus. That was terrible. Um, to put it bluntly, both out the Prowler, three hits would do it. Oh my god. Okay. No hits. Interesting. I might just have to use Malkashar now, because I think I'm running out of options. Um, yeah. You just go in, and you'll take some big hits, but hopefully deal the damage. <laughs> no, not even, not even big hits. Okay, right now, now... Ugh. 
good, good. Don't really want to put this marksman on the front lines. I guess I could slow the automaton, that might be the best bet here. This ghost isn't fast enough to properly join the fight. What it can do is go and stand here, and then maybe the Zephyr will attack it instead of this Wraith. Too slow to get into the fight, so I am concerned about this Goliath. And blade damage does very little to these automata. Arcane isn't great either. What are they? What is good against the automata? Nothing. Impact. Impact is fine. Fire is alright. Okay. So I, I think what they will now do is try and kill this Wraith, and they will probably succeed. And I'm actually alright with that. I've made my peace with losing level 2 undead units. <laughs> the skeleton rider says, Surely I could use some help here. <laughs> Surely you could. Die, vermin. <laughs> That's what that's actually pretty hilarious. Alright, Bat has joined the Bat all. So now let's take out the mechanical Goliath and then I can try and clean up these troops down here. Unfortunately just some of them under Zephyr, so I've got to be careful with my with my undead. get slow in. You can go round. Will you die if you go round? How's Keshar against these guys? Ah, oh, not bad. Alright. 20 health. Let's sort out this flank first. Flank is sorted. So I should be able to get two units in here. Or maybe even three. You're not fast enough to, to get, so as long as I actually advance slowly, I should be okay here. At least as far as this Zephyr is concerned. Just need to make sure I kill this. Okay, one... 
point of experience and you'll be on the level. Who do I want to get this? I could get it with you, I could get it with you. That's more tempting. Okay, Igor, I bet when you left your hut in the last scenario, you didn't expect to be taking down the level 3 mechanical goliath. Well, time makes fools of us all. Who do I want to put out in front? I don't mind putting Gallus out in front. I don't mind Gallus standing on this building. So then they can attack Igor. They can attack this shadow. They can attack the shadow quite brutally. It'd be nice to get someone else in there to block them from doing that. Like this, this Wraith, I didn't mind dying. Okay. It can't good, it can't reach that spot, can't reach that spot. Okay, so I've only, I only need to worry about these three level one units. And I think these units out in front ought to be fine. So I just need to focus on getting some healing in. So in that case, you stay where you are, you stay where you are. You come down here. You... Can you get in range? Yeah, you just about can. You move in over here. You see a bit more. Playing a tad conservatively, but generally tends to be the best bet in long term scenarios in Wesnoth. Okay. And <coughs> oh, here comes the level. There we go. Now they're going to fireball it. Gives as good as he gets. <laughs> Igor is well on his way towards level three. And we'll try and deal with this demon here. Is this a job for the big M? There we go. Child's play. Now, you can come in. Hopefully. I love that attack. I just love that attack. Level 4 Dwarven unit. What a tank. What an absolute tank. You step back and let Linde in for an ineffective... Oh, there we go. Do an impact. Chief. <laughs> My best automata killing units are not around right now. Gonna have to use the spectres, and they're not actually that good at it.
I love the attention to detail in this scenario. You've got undead woses down here. Um, they're slow, but they're coming. You've, we've got fungoids. We've got ants over here. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Can anyone else reach? You're not even the bat? No, okay, so it's just you. So then... Almost got the kill, not quite. Everyone else just move up. You move up to where you'll get health. You stand where you are. out of the picture now and I think with a uh, I can't quite apply Malkashar to the problem like I would be inclined to just gonna move him forward I can use the night gun though unfortunately what I really need is nice big hits like the kind that you can deliver there we go so now you can are uh, quite susceptible to being killed by somebody. Uh, you'll die. Don't want to get you killed. Oh, you. Or indeed. on the team. Fantastic. Next objective is to explore the caves. And now I think, I know I haven't done very much this time round, but I'm going to move my units up a bit, and then I'm going to take a break. Going to go and grab this house with the bat. So many enemies. Okay, well now I know where they are at least. Bunch of dead mermen. Yeah, love the attention to detail. And the ants are going to go for my bat next turn, that's fine. And when they press this forward, this shadow. Um, who, who else needs healing? You need healing. So you can go and stand there. You stand there. Gala, stay where you are. You've already moved, so you just come around here, and then you can go there, and then I think everyone else is actually fine. That structure at the centre of the chamber. And indeed. We found it, Gallas. This is the final resting place of the Lady of Light and the Master of Darkness. That strong magic comes from within the structure. We need to find a way to enter. Hmm, it's evident they did not want anybody waking them from their slumber. The entrance seems to be completely blocked, and the six pillars around the structure appear to be part of some kind of magic seal. They carved glyphs in them. Ancient dwarvish runes. This must have been the work of our kin from ages past. I had heard of this kind of seal before. There may be trigger runes around the area, mayhap designed to be activated by specific people. 
Yes, hmm. I imagine that the Lady of Light would mandate the glyphs to react only to the presence of elven kind and their allies. So, that may explain why the demons were unable to do anything here. That said, if our arrival had been delayed long enough, they might have eventually figured out a way to violate the seal's magic. All we have to do then is search for the triggers in these caves. Aye, aye! Well, there's no guarantee that they may account them in accessible locations close to this chamber, but it's a good starting point as any. Sure, let's do it. Careful, elf. The earth itself does not seem pleased with our intrusion into its eternal domain. As far as it is concerned, we are unwelcome parasites, not unlike the demons we just vanquished. Alright, time to activate some trigger runes, or at least it will be after the break. ready to explore the caves, I'm going to pause. See you next time everyone!